The first patients have been enrolled in human trials for a coronavirus vaccine at the historic University of Oxford after the UK's health secretary said the country would be throwing everything behind the project. The clinical trial will test the effects of possible COVID-19 treatments and the start the process of vaccine evaluation in the university's first human studies. There is an urgent need for reliable evidence on the best care for patients with COVID-19, Peter Horby, Professor of Emerging Infectious Diseases and Global Health, and a chief investigator on the study, said. Providing possible new treatments through a well-designed clinical trial is the best way to get that evidence. Adults admitted to hospital with COVID-19 should be offered the opportunity to participate in this trial and contribute to improving care for everyone. All patients will receive the standard full medical care, regardless of which treatment group they are placed in. Earlier this week, the Health Secretary Matt Hancock announced a total of £52.5 million, about $65 million worth of funding for the project, and another vaccine trial at London's Imperial University due to begin in June. Both of these promising projects are making rapid progress and I've told the scientists leading them we will do everything in our power to support, Hancock said at a Downing Street briefing on Tuesday. After all, the upside of being the first country in the world to develop a successful vaccine is so huge that I am throwing everything at it. Although the university has urged caution when it comes to mapping out a firm timeline for when the vaccine, called ADOX 1NCOV-19, would be in development, a best-case scenario could see for the vaccine's efficacy determined by fall 2020. Under normal circumstances, even at high speed, it can take between 12 and 18 months to develop a vaccine.